this is editing Sasha here to say that I two things <laughs> one the lighting in this video what was she I I just got a new ring light slash phone holder and something isn't working so I need to do better with that and also the synopsis for like 99% of these books is completely wrong like when I was looking them up I was like I was thinking of a completely different book so please ignore that and just don't think about that and just go to the goodreads links in the descriptions if the titles interest you bye hello readers it's sasha and today i'm going to be doing something that i'm very excited about and that is a book haul so over the months of december and january and i guess a little bit of november i went a little overboard on books and books that i wanted to purchase for myself so i've got a couple of categories here that we're gonna do and there are over 40 books so i'm not going to go into detail on what all of the books are about and i'm not going to like do all kinds of synopses because first of all i don't know what they're about and second of all that would like we'd be here for all all day and i just like i don't have the time so i'm gonna start with books that i received in a book trade because if you didn't know i was planning on doing a book trade for all of the books that i was unhauling and i'll link that on haul video down below and I will give you some of mine and I was like yes that would be great so I got rid of a bunch of books and in return I got a bag full of books and I think they're the ones that I'm least excited about so I'm going to start with those and then I'm going to move on to the books that I got in the month of December and for those I'm including like any Christmas presents from my friends here and also from my family and myself <laughs> and I didn't get a lot of books for Christmas because I asked specifically for gift cards because it was just too much trying to keep track of like what books I wanted a lot so I was just like we'll just get gift cards that'll be fine and then the last pile of books I have is our whatever books that I got myself from a secondhand bookstore and that's the pile that's gonna take the longest because there are 28 books in that pile because who needs your student loans for school right so it's fine so let's just dive in because this will take forever if we don't <laughs> so also some of the books that I got from the book trade I am actually going to be unhauling and putting aside for when I start to do my unhauls again because <laughs> some of these are middle of the series books and I just like don't care enough about the books to actually get the first book and you can't read the second book without reading the first book so yes let's start so the first book in this is The Sight by Judy Blundell and this is just essentially like a paranormal story that's all <laughs> I know but I have actually read a Judy Blundell novel before and I really loved her work so I am looking forward to this even though it's paranormal and not necessarily my jam I think this could be fun there's a sticker Oh my god, it came off really sexily. Okay, so the next one is Undone by Kat Clark, and I don't really know what this is. Oh, okay, it's about a girl who's in love with her gay best friend, and then her gay best friend is outed online, and he commits suicide, and she wants to take down the people who outed him. So I think I could get behind this. I don't know, it was written in like 2010, so... Oh, 2013, okay. But like, it. we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Next is This Lullaby by Sarah Destin. Sarah Destin is an author that I wanted to get into a lot when I was younger because when I was younger, like reading a Sarah Destin book was like the coolest thing ever, but I was just not into contemporary romance. But now I am. So like maybe I'll vibe with Sarah Destin. I highly doubt it because her books seem to be geared toward a very different demographic than I am, but I'm willing. I don't know what this is about. I like, I just, I know it's a contemporary romance. So yeah. The next book I got is actually really funny. It's The Truth About Forever by Sarah Destin. And this was actually the book that I tried to get into of Sarah Destin's when I was like 14, I wanna say probably I think this book oh yeah I might have even been younger because this came out in 2004 so I definitely I tried to get into this book and I was just like this is really stupid and boring but then we come full circle and here I am so maybe it'll work I think it's about a girl who gets a job at like a catering company while her boyfriend's like out of town but then she meets this guy at the catering company and she's like oh uh oh I think next <laughs> why did I forgot I got so many Sarah Dessen next is what happened to goodbye by Sarah Dessen and I <laughs> These are very similar. The covers are very similar, but I really don't know what this is about either. I'm assuming it's about a break up because what happened to goodbye so next i ended up getting the help by katherine stockett this i'm actually very excited about because this is a book that my mother-in-law actually really likes and i've heard nothing but good things about it so i was actually really happy to see this included in here i'm not 100 percent sure what it's about but i am looking forward to reading it next is craven manor by darcy coates and this 
seems like a horror type story about a guy who was like, hey, do you want to like work in this manor and no one else is there but you? And he's like, why not, right? Let's, you know, you only live once. So there he is. Choices were made. Oh my God, I forgot to turn my lights on. I have so many remotes. Uh, this is Call Me Irresistible by Susan Elizabeth Phillips and this is about a romance I'm assuming. This girl like breaks up with her best friend's wedding. No, she breaks up her best friend's wedding and she gets stuck at the wedding even though like she was trying to break it up. I don't know. Like it's fine. And then I'm gonna get to the two books that I'm not going to read so that's you know that is what it is. The first book is The Jansen Equation by Robert Lud- no. Douglas Corleone. This looks like absolutely nothing I would ever want to read ever in my life so yes. No. <laughs> and lastly, Marked for Revenge by Amelie Shep. And this is actually a book that I wanted to read, but it turns out it's part of a series and I just don't care enough about the whole series to get the first book to have, so I don't care. So I'm not going to read that. And I don't know what it's about, so that's cool. So those are all the books that I got from the book trade. I will say that I am quite excited about most of them that I got. Like they're honestly like, yes, they're probably a lot older, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Next is going to be the books that I gifted myself slash I was gifted in December. So I'm gonna start off with the book that's right beside me and that is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Bronte? I don't know. And this book is a book that everybody's read in their life but me. I have wanted to read Jane Eyre for about a month and a half now. I don't actually care a lot about classics. Like classics and I just like I don't care. Like people are like you need to read them. I personally could care less. Couldn't care less. That's the word. But I saw this edition in HomeSense. Shockingly enough, this was in a furniture store. They had really stunning editions of classics. And I know like this isn't like exclusive to HomeSense. Like I've seen people with these editions before, but I was really shocked to find this there for $10. So I was like, this is fantastic. And then I had an idea of doing a reading vlog for Jane Eyre. So stay tuned for that because it's coming in a month ish so yeah i got that no clue what it's about like literally no idea and they even talked about it a little bit in a book that i was reading this month no clue i skipped over those parts because i was like i don't want to be spoiled but now i just don't know anything about the book so next is a book i gifted myself and that is i killed zoe spanos by kit frick kit frick is a very popular ya author now i maybe not very popular but a lot of the books that they've written i want to read so i also just really liked the sprayed edges i think this is about a girl who goes into a town after having like a pretty rough year and it turns out that she looks a lot like a girl who was killed in that town and then that girl's body ended up being found and so people are like hello did you have something to do with it and i think she gets arrested for it or something i don't know but i really wanted to read it i really liked the blue sprayed edges and i gifted myself because what is the holiday season without a little bit of love to yourself next is another book i gifted myself and that is blood leaf by who is it crystal smith this is a fantasy book that i was planning on reading in december because i had filmed a previous version of the december Goodreads chooses TBR video, but I wasn't happy with the way it turned out. So I ended up buying this book and not reading it, but I'm still really excited for it. But it's pretty much about a girl who's a princess, but they call her a witch and that's like really all I know. So next is another book. And I honestly, if I'm being perfectly honest, don't know where this came from. That is The Girl From Everywhere by Heidi Heilig. Oh my God, I do know where this came from. I got this at a thrift store too. So this book is about a girl who is like on a ship with her father and this ship is like special because it can go anywhere in the world, past, present, future, like it can go anywhere. But the dad is trying to get back to the time when her mom was killed, I think. But if they go back in time, then the daughter's erased or something like that. So it's like kind of interesting. And I thought it looked good. Next is a book I picked up. Oh, no, I did get it. Okay. Next is a book I picked up in December. No, I picked this up, I think at the beginning of January, actually, but it was An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. And it's essentially about a girl who signs up for a Stanford experiment, not a Stanford experiment, whatever, a psychological experiment at a school. But like this, the experiment goes a little wrong and like things are happening and it's a lot. And I've wanted to read this for a very long time and I've heard really great things about it so i picked it up on that same day i bought stocking jack the ripper by carrie maniscalco and this is a book that i talked a little bit about in the 10 books that i want to read in 2021 so i picked it up as kind of like a let's start getting those books so that i can actually have a reason to pick them up and i can't just keep putting it off so yeah 
looks great 10 out of 10 i'm ready oh that day i also bought lore i forgot to put that in here it's over on my desk but also on that day i ended up picking up my dark vanessa by kate elizabeth russell and this is about a girl who was in a relationship with her teacher but this is kind of switching i think between past and present and the past is like the relationship and then the present is her realizing how messed up it was and by hearing other people talk about it so i've heard that it's very hard-hitting very impactful and i'm i'm ready I'm ready to be a part of this. Next is a book that I got from my mom and that is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee and I've read this book twice now and I just never had a copy for myself. Well, that's a lie. I had a copy at one point in my life but it broke because I got it from a thrift store and it was just like disgustingly dirty and disgusting and I don't know, it was like falling apart. So my mom ended up getting me this um, 50th anniversary edition and it's just really tiny and really cute and I really love her. And if you don't know what To Kill a Mockingbird is about, it's about this lawyer named Atticus Finch. He's defending a black man who's accused of raping a white woman. And this happens in like the 60s, I believe it is. Yes, 50s, 60s. 50s 50s or 60s i can't remember but i really loved this book when i read it the first time when i was in school and then i read it a second time outside of school and i just absolutely adore this book next i got ebook from my secret santa here on booktube and that was darian over at darian reads and i got daughter of the burning city by amanda foodie she got this book for me because she's heard that there is ace rep in it and i'm really excited because i did not know that when i added it to my list so that's exciting but it's essentially about a festival which is something i really love and i don't know it gives me like if you were like a church kid, it gives me like Sodom and Gomorrah vibes. Like that's what I've heard. But I think it's only because Gomorrah is the city name. Yeah, Gomorrah Festival. So I think that's why. <laughs> like there's no literal reason except that. So thank you, Darian. And the last book that I was gifted for Christmas was From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armand Trout. And I was gifted this by Robbie from And His Nose Stuck in a Book. And this was just the sweetest thing. It's a chonky book, but I've literally never heard a bad thing said about it. That's a lie. I've heard like one person like trash it, but everybody else loves it. Like Amanda over at Ginger Snap Reads loves this book. Like it was her favorite of last year and we have such similar reading tastes so i'm hoping this is good i've heard there's like a little bit of steam and i'm ready so that's gonna be fun i love this i'm really excited i love jennifer l armantrout if you couldn't tell by like everything about me i love her books so i'm really excited for this one now let's move into <laughs> there's so many now let's move into the books that i got myself from the thrift store like a week ago. The first book that I got was The Cheerleaders by Cara Thomas and this is essentially I think a book about oh I bit my tongue ow this is essentially a book about a group of cheerleaders at a school that got murdered I think it was and it happened in the past and now this is the present and the main character I think one of her sisters was one of the cheerleaders who got murdered if we're being perfectly honest I don't know. Next is The Deceivers by Kristen Simmons and this is about Vail Hall which is a school for con artists so it's about all these people that go to this school for con artists I don't know sounded cool I think it was on my want to read list so here we are next I ended up picking up little universes by Heather Demetrios and this is a book about two sisters whose parents died in a tragic tsunami in somewhere over in the South Pacific I believe I'm not 100% sure but they had to end up moving from California over to a small town in I think it was Massachusetts and they both are having like different reactions to that situation I, I think they drift apart and I've heard that she writes really hard-hitting and powerful and like real contemporaries so I'm looking forward to getting to this when I tell you that the next pick was just purely out of I don't know I don't know why I bought this, but it's The Dark In Between by Elizabeth Cribb. And it's angels. And it's falling angels, I think. Yeah, so this girl was like found like half dead and then an angel fell from the sky. And that's essentially what it is. So we've got some 2010s vibes. We've got some weird synopsis vibes. I'm I'm just here. Like I don't know why I purchased this. I don't know what brought me to do that, but here I am. So next I ended up picking up Cracked Up to Be by Courtney Summers, and I think it's just about a school situation where she is like the perfect student, but then she's like not or something. I don't know. I've heard Courtney Summers writes really good books and also very short books because this is barely 220 pages. So I love that. I feel like I'm gonna be judged, and that's fine. Like I've resigned myself to understanding that. Okay, we're just gonna get this out of the way. The next one is In Another Time by Caroline Leach. This is by the same author who wrote the book Wait For Me that I read last month about the German soldier and the girl falling in love in World War II. So like, there's that. I 
really liked her writing so I was like I'm gonna pick up more she's only ever written two books and it was that one and this one and this is another World War II book but I don't think it's about the same thing so yeah next I ended up getting Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart and this is about I think two sisters who have been like in the kingdom their whole life and one of them has been groomed to stand by the heir and the other one has like not been but they don't like their respective roles or something i don't know this is just what we're learning i don't know about the books i buy before i buy them next i got this is what it feels like by rebecca barrow and this is about two girls who are both entering a film festival or like a music festival something they're entering a contest and they're like competing but they end up getting together so that's exciting and i'm excited about this one next i got the war outside by monica hess hesse hess i don't know and this is about a german american and a japanese american in world war ii and how they were both kind of ostracized in america during the situation that was happening because reasons this is going a lot quicker than i thought it was going to so that's exciting next i ended up picking up people like us by dana meal i don't know what this is about okay yeah so this is about a girl who has like skeletons in her closet she had like Oh my god, I forgot the sticker. She had like done things in the past, but now she was like a successful soccer player and she was getting an academic scholarship. But then these skeletons start being brought to light and now she's panicking that she's not going to actually get the scholarship. So I think she's being blackmailed. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, it sounded good. Got it. That's it. Next, I ended up picking The Last Magician up by Lisa Maxwell. This was a book that I was supposed to read. I don't remember which month that I got this in my Goodreads Choose My TBR, but I never ended up getting around to it because I looked at the library book app, Libby, that's the one, and I was disgustedly intimidated by how large this book was, but I bought it in person and now it doesn't seem that intimidating, so. Next, I ended up getting The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. This is, I think, a Beauty and the Beast retelling? Is that the one or is it a different one? So there's there are two that have like very similar covers. I don't know if this is the one. I think it is. It's like a Beauty and the Beast retelling but like not. Yeah, in New York. Next I ended up picking Summer Bird Blue by Akemi Don Bowman. I absolutely love the covers on Akemi Don Bowman's writings books. I think they're fantastic but I think this is about a girl who lives in Hawaii and her sister actually died in a car crash but they used to write songs together and stuff and so she's trying to get back into the music situation, the music aspect. So I think. Please don't take any of these synopses like I know what I'm talking about because I could be completely off. So I don't want you guys buying a book being like oh damn like that sounds good and then you're like this is literally not at all what she said it was. Like this is just what I think I conquered, conquered, conjured up in my head. So, sorry. Next, I ended up picking up Heroin by Mindy McInnes. I ended up really wanting to pick up more Mindy McInnes after I read The Female of the Species. So I ended up picking this up and I believe this is about a girl who was in an accident and then becomes addicted to heroin. Next, I picked up Death Prefers Blondes by Caleb Rorig. It's essentially about a girl who is like a celebrity by day, but then like a jewel thief or like a robber or something by night. I thought it sounded fun, so I got it. <laughs> Who knows if it'll actually be fun, but I thought it sounded fun. Next, I ended up picking up Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. This is about a teenage girl who tests positive for HIV. I don't know if she tests positive or if she was like born with it. I'm not 100% sure, but it's about a girl who has HIV and she is maneuvering the dating world and she's scared that her, this information is going to get out, but like she knows she can't be fully in a relationship without explaining that to somebody. So I'm really excited for this. I've heard really fantastic things about it. So I'm excited. Next, I picked up Someday We Will Fly by Rachel. Dewaskin and I believe this is another World War II book where this girl's mom vanishes and then she goes to a circus or no she doesn't but like she she goes to find her and she joins a like circus type thing so it's a World War II circus sapphic situation so I love that Next, I ended up picking up Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. And this is about a girl who has anxiety and she kind of like masks that by becoming this super famous illustrator for like the blog, I think. And her biggest fan ends up coming to the school and she's like, no, you literally cannot know that I am this person. So she's like trying to keep that down. But then like, obviously it's a story in young adult. So it comes up somehow and things happen. Next, I ended up picking up Uncharted. And honestly, I don't know what this is about at all because I thought it was about a boat. 
but it's not. It's like a mystery type thing where her mom's dead and she thinks it's her fault. So I'm still probably gonna like it, but like not what I thought it was when I bought it. Next, I ended up picking up Here We Are Now by Jasmine Warga, and this is about a girl whose father is actually a famous pop star or rock star, one of the two, and she's been writing to him, but he hasn't written back, and then he kind of just shows up on her doorstep one day and is like, my father, your grandfather is dying, can you come and meet him? And so she's like, um, sure. So her, I think it's her and her best friend go to try to like meet her dad. And then it turns out like things just like aren't as they seem. So yeah, I think Allie from read with Allie. I think that's her name. I really don't know. I'm really bad with names. I think she recommended this. I think she loved it. And so I put it on my list and then I bought it. So yeah. <laughs> Next, I ended up getting The Fall of Innocence by Jenny Torres Sanchez and this is about a girl who was sexually assaulted in a small town I believe but then like it's kind of like her maneuvering and then like some type of information came out about her attacker and now she's like coming to terms with that information I think so yeah next I ended up picking up Dreamland Burning by Jennifer Latham and I believe this is about a girl who lives in a home and they end up like finding a body buried in her backyard or something it's like part of a case that was like unsolved or like part of a case from the 1900s that like went cold. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a historical fiction again kind of because it's told in past and present. Next I ended up picking up Girls Like Us by Randy Pink and this is about four girls. I believe this is a historical fiction but in the 90s. I don't know. It's about these four girls who are all pregnant but they're all pregnant in different parts of the United States and their stories and their lives kind of like intertwine together and I've just heard nothing but amazing things about Randy Pink and I've wanted to pick up a couple of her books now so I'm really excited about this. Next I ended up picking up Orphan Monster Spy by Matt Killen and this is about a girl who can pass as white but is actually Jewish in World War II so she is actually being used as a spy in somewhere. Yes she's being used as a spy but I don't know 100% where so yeah I think that sounds really cool. Next I ended up getting Murdered at 17 by Christine Conrad. I've heard literally only bad things about these books but I still kind of wanted to read it but I think she like got injured during a cheerleading stunt and then things happen. I think that's what happened. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Next I ended up picking up Jane Unlimited by Kristen Cashor and this is about a girl who had like an aunt Magnolia who passed away and so she was like trying to pick up those pieces and then she got this invitation to a ball and then she remembers her aunt saying like if you ever get this invitation don't pass it up. So she goes and like she gets to like choose her own reality or something. I don't know. I just thought it sounded cool. So yeah, I have two books, two books left. That's it. Then, then we're done. Then we're done with all of this. And I'm never buying another book until tomorrow. I'm embarrassed that I bought this, but it's okay. This is Mirror Mirror by Cara Delevingne. It's about several girls who are like all kind of like rebellious and like outskirts. And then one of them goes missing. And so they're all like, what? And it just sounds right up my alley. And I know it's Cara Delevingne. It's fine. The last book that I ended up purchasing was Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. And this was actually a signed first edition which someone who put that at the thrift store, y'all missed out because now I have it. And I really liked Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver when I read it this year. So I was like, okay, another Lauren Oliver book. This is fantastic. And I've heard really great things about it because it was one of her newer, I think it's her newest release. Yeah, so <laughs> that's it. Those are all the books that I ended up buying in the last few months. And do I have regrets? Probably a little, probably a few. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what I bought because a lot of these books are books that I've wanted to read for a really long time. And I I didn't put myself into debt buying them so therefore I don't think there's an issue. I know I'm definitely contributing to the consumerism that is booktube but at the end of the day if you're not putting yourself into debt to buy books then buy them. Like live your freaking life. But if you're going into debt please don't. Please don't do that. <laughs> but like I was fortunate enough to get my student loans so I didn't go into debt for this. I'm going into debt for an education big brain. So that is it. Please let me know in the comments below if there are any of these books that I should prioritize, any books that you've read that you really love, and any books that you read on here that you just really didn't love because I love that controversy. So thank you for tuning into this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I do post twice a week. And until next time, bye readers!